So hi guys. The next problems you want I want to show you the first explanation of Kuntuka problem and the first one is to check if our constraints are active or inactive. Because if our constraints are inactive then we can just say that our lambda is equal to zero. If our constraints are active it means that we have to change, we have to find and so on our lambdas. So the first problem is that or I want to check if our problem can be solved at all. So x squared y plus 2 uh, x bigger or equal to 1 and y is less or equal to 4 minus x. So for example we have found that our points are 1, 1 means that x it's x it's y so if our points are 1 1 then we can just say 1 is less or equal to 3 it's true so it's our in active here we have 1 bigger or equal to minus it's also inactive and one is less or equal to three it's also inactive because active constraints are those constraints that are equal to the number that it represents for example if x one uh, were equal to 1 then it would be active so the second point like going to be 1 and minus 1 here we have again uh, minus 1 plus 1 it's active you can see it's active because our constraints are equal the second is x is 1 bigger than minus 1 is the same it's inactive and but still the solution can be found and minus 1 is less or equal to uh, 3 and it's also can be solved with these points but it's also inactive and so on so on so you can take the points you can check if your constraints are active or inactive and then you can proceed with these points to the further uh, further solutions so thank you for your attention and uh, if you have any questions please contact me and good luck